Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I have another Ghostbuster review for you. Uh, this is the new Peter Venkman. Um, there has been a Peter Venkman in the past, but this is the brand new one that just came out. Um, get your standard white mailer box, says Peter Venkman, adult collector, nothing special. <clears throat> and the figure. And now what's pretty iconic about this, I guess uh, several things. Um, you get the first of the new stands. Um, they have little figure stands they come with with the uh, logo ghost. As well as the big thing that a lot of people have been wanting is the, uh, the stream. Which is really cool. <clears throat> yeah, I wish they would have started releasing those sooner but at least we're getting them now so no complaints. Got your standard packaging here. This is Adult Collector Peter Venkman. Terror Dogs and Marshmallow Man in the back. Uh, really nice packaging, I like that. And then on the back you have your standard uh, desktop. And I still haven't uh, checked to see if uh, these card backs are different. Like, because, you know, there's been a Peter Vinkman released. I'm not sure if this is the same as the previous Peter Vinkman card. Or if they changed it up a little, which would be cool if they changed it up, but not too sure how they did that. So anyways, this was made by Matty Collector in uh, 2010. So let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. Alright, and we're back with Peter Venkman. Um, first off, let's take a look at the new uh, figure stands for the Ghostbusters. Uh, pretty cool. It's a little tall though. I mean, it is cool, but you're going to get this pretty tall stand with it, which is kind of awkward. But uh, it's really cool detail. It looks awesome. It's got the logo ghost. It's even got some depth and everything to it. One peg. So it's pretty cool. But uh, again, it's kind of unfortunate that those are just now coming out instead of, you know, they didn't start that from the beginning. But uh, on to Peter Vinkman, which the uh, highlight of this figure is probably um, just the Proton Stream. I know a lot of people are getting this figure just for this. Um, but it's nice to get a Peter Vinkman without his uh, slime on him. A very cool proton stream comes in two pieces. Um, it disconnects right here, it clips in the blue part and the orange right there. Um, it could just pop out very easily. And then there's a little connector to go around the uh, the end <clears throat> right here, like that. Clips on very easy. Uh, my one concern with it was uh, that it was going to be too heavy and kind of tip the figure over. But as you can see, I mean, it really doesn't have any problem whatsoever, um, at least on mine. Um, I haven't had an issue with it being too heavy. I mean, it's really light. So it's really cool looking and uh, definitely something you need for your collection. And on to the figure. Um, the figure itself is really cool, of course, but, uh, you know, it's going to be very basic. You've seen this costume before. You've seen the body before. Um, you've seen even the figure before. I believe it's the exact same as the other one, just uh, minus the the slime all over him, of course. Yeah. Really cool proton pack. Got a lot of nice detail in there. The little peg so you can uh, clip it onto there. Got all the nice hoses and everything. It's really cool, just not much to say about it. It's, you know, pretty standard. Uh, one issue, the crazy ass pose they have him in, in the package. Um, this is my first Ghostbuster that actually has a bent limb. You can see that pretty big gap right there. Uh, his joint's kind of bent. I know it doesn't look that bad. It's really not because he still stands pretty good. But uh, This is my first of the Ghostbuster figures that have had a, a bent joint, which is kind of disappointing. You know, they... They keep trying so hard to make them look so cool in the package, but they're just screwing up the figures when they do that, and they don't realize it. Or if they do realize it, they don't care either way, but <clears throat> it's really annoying. But uh, articulation, they have a really nice uh, jointed head. 
it's kind of weird the joints down at the bottom of the the base of the neck I'm not really too sure how it works but it's kind of crazy you see like a free amount of movement in there I'm not really too sure how this one operates but really nice joint and you have a ball jointed shoulder ball jointed elbow and a swivel at the wrist uh, no torso joint on these guys you do have a swivel in the waist and um, you have your joints just like the uh, movie masters or even the DCUC hips pretty much the same um, you have a swivel there in the top of the thigh single jointed knee and then a back and forward pivot in the foot and that foot does rotate a little side to side I'm not sure if it's meant to or if it just kinda has a little leeway on there but it does so you know decent overall articulation nothing too fantastic though but uh I think it works pretty well for these guys I don't think you need a whole lot more and uh, the way they do the articulation it still looks pretty good if you see in his pants like it doesn't take away from the look they really went nice with the sculpting and everything so definitely cool figure to have um, you know if you're wanting to get those proton streams you probably already picked one of these guys up um, hopefully they release like a accessory pack eventually with a bunch of these in it and some different stuff that would be cool but anyways, very cool Peter Minkman. So thanks for checking him out.